It's fair to say the most common material used today for compressed air systems is steel. Most of the time, we choose steel without even thinking about it. But is it really the best option? Or is there a material that can be installed faster and more easily? Well, that's where aluminum comes in. It's extremely lightweight, cost-effective, and far more user-friendly than steel. In fact, it's so fast and easy to install that we are going to compare the installation time of a steel system with that of an aluminum piping system. So, let's get started. We will install two similar systems, one made of steel tubing and fittings and the other made of Top Rings PPS aluminum tubing to compare their respective installation times. The first stage of the process is where the two systems could not be more different from each other in terms of time and efficiency. On the aluminum side, the preparation consists of cutting the tube to the right length with a tube cutter, then deburring it, cleaning it, and finally applying a thin layer of lubricant on both ends. On the steel side, the tubes need to be threaded to allow a connection with the fittings. It's necessary to calibrate the machinery a calibration that must be done whenever a different diameter of pipe must be prepared. The calibration is a manual process that requires the installer to adjust the machine by trial and error. Even for an experienced installer, this may represent more tests that will eventually impact the final installation time. Aluminum is characterized by its simplicity, especially when hanging the tubes from the wall. It uses mounting and suspension pipe clips that do not require preparation and only need one screw. For steel, on the other hand, the mounting system is used with a combination of strut channels and clamps that require some preparation before tightening. In this case, three bolts per bracket. While we were talking about the first two steps, the installation of the aluminum system was completed in just 25 minutes, while the steel mounting had just begun. Unfortunately for our installer, he's far from finished installing the seal system because he's about to begin one of the most common modifications to a piping system for compressed air, namely the addition of a drop. A gooseneck style modification is typically carried out on traditional networks. It involves a series of manipulations that considerably increase the installation time and at times it requires up to two installers due to the heavy weight of the steel tubes. Conversely, the drop installation of an aluminum system was done much faster and by a single installer. Due to the unique design of the PPS system bypass flange, the flange can be installed without cutting the main header. Its internal design, similar to that of a gooseneck, prevents water from reaching the point of use and contaminating the air. Unlike the gooseneck, the flange offers much more flexibility in the design, installation and modification of the compressed air network. The flange can be installed without modifying the main pipe network or header. It's worth noting that the installer who performed both the installations had never previously installed a PPS aluminum system. As you can see from the time on this steel installation, the install of the aluminum system is three times faster than that of steel. There is no doubt that aluminum offers an undeniable advantage when it comes to installation. In addition, it does not rust or scale, making it a more durable and resistant material. The overall cost of the system once installed is lower compared to black or galvanized steel. For more information on PPS aluminum piping systems, visit the Piping System and Air Network section of topring.com.